Every good puzzle platformer has a gimmick that can be explained in a sentence or two and is immediately jolting. D-Leveled is a platformer without a jump button. The controls here are very simple. You move left, you move right, and that's it. The key mechanic is momentum transfer. The player controls two colored squares that move in tandem. Each square has different gravity. They fall towards different parts of the screen. But when they collide on either side of a platform, each one transfers its momentum to the other. The goal on each level is to trigger a series of switches that activate a pair of level exit gates. Accomplishing this requires matched skills. The player needs to be clever enough to figure out how to hit all the switches, but also skillful enough to land some rather precise maneuvers. Heartseeker is part of a tiny subgenre known as the click-based platformer, where the goal is to navigate a level by dashing between surfaces. Now there is a plot here, a minimalist sort of story told through bits of prose in each level, describing a cosmic horror known as the Living Dungeon and the ensouled self-swinging blade bent in its destruction. But the plot is just a frame for the player's objective, guiding the aforementioned blade through a tangle of spikes and moving platforms to cut through the fell heart at the end of each stage. With 21 levels, Heartseeker is a very short game, but it's not meant to be played just once. This is very much a score attack or speedrun kind of game, meant for people who like to challenge themselves and the world at large. In Sealess, the player has control not just over the little low-res protagonist, but also over the level itself. At the press of a button, the player can rotate the entire map by 90 degrees, and this is, as you'd imagine, the key mechanic. The objective is to push a series of boxes onto gems, locking them in place. Once every box is locked, a door opens up, granting access to the next level, you know, provided that you didn't block off the only access route, of course. There are lots of little gimmicks that appear as the game goes on, enough to keep things fresh. Now, one thing Sealess has going for it is that most of the levels have more than one viable solution, so you can figure out how to clear them without having to read the designer's mind.